Hello everybody, it's another Friday, so Miss Carrie has a new book to show you today from Miss Carrie Recommends. So this is the new version of The Little Mermaid by Jerry Pinkney, who's a Caldecott award-winning illustrator. So the artwork in this book is fantastic. So what I really like about this book is that it's different from the fairy tale and from the movie because the little girl her name is melody and she's younger than what the little mermaid usually is which is in her teens but this girl she's maybe 10 or 11 and one thing that i really thought was cool was when she went up to the surface she saw another little girl and she wanted to be her friend because Melody's very curious and she likes to look for new things. So she's really curious about what's happening on land. So that is what in this one she gives up her voice for is so that she can meet her friend. And her friend's name winds up being Zion. So it's really neat. And plus, um, Melody is a person of color which is really awesome because usually in Little Mermaid, it's usually a person that looks like Miss Carrie. But I like that in this case, it's somebody that has a different color skin than you're used to seeing. So I think that's what really makes it special and that she wants to have a friend. So I'll read a little bit of it to you today to get you interested. So, and look at the rich colors. Jerry Pinkney is a fantastic artist and he's a great storyteller too. He puts his own unique spin on things that make it really cool. Far out in the ocean and miles below the surface, two realms sat divided by sea mountains. On one side of the ridge lived a powerful sea witch. So that's kind of like the Ursula character whose greedy heart cast a shadow over everything that tried to flourish. On the other side, the merfolk kingdom shimmered with light. There, the sea king and his four daughters dwelled in an elaborate coral castle. I love the king, too, because look at his crown and all the beautiful colors. Just makes you want to go live under the ocean, does it? Look? So this is the page about Melody. So the little princess Melody possessed a beautiful voice, but she was not content to sing in the choir of mermaids like her sisters. She had no interest in sitting still on a royal throne. Instead, Melody explored relics of sunken ships and invented stories about objects she gathered from the wreckage. So she looks at ships that have sunk under the ocean. You can see here, here's a wheel. And here's a part of the ship. And the fishes have made a home of it. That's really cool. So once she discovered a curious figurine that looked a bit like her, but for two cloth sticks where its tail should be. Melody often wondered about the world beyond her home. Is it true that some ships go out atop the water instead of lying splintered beneath it, she asked her sisters, and that a ball of fire burns over land? Look at this sea turtle. So what, get, what did her sister say? Let's find out. You and your daydreaming and silly stories, they huffed. Why concern yourself with the world above? Father forbids us to go there. The king had warned his daughters to stay close to home because the sea witch who had been cast out of the kingdom would someday seek revenge. The king had declared that an ancient sea turtle act as his youngest daughter's guardian and that she should trust this wise creature to lead her true. So he's supposed to be watching out for her. So that kind of reminds me of Sebastian from the movie. So when Melody saw the turtle swimming up one day to take an air, she decided to follow him. Oh dear. So here she is coming up to the surface. There's fish and devour. Now, I've already told you that she sees a little girl that she wants to be friends with. So that's why she decides to go see the sea witch and makes an agreement to give her voice up 
so that she can have a friend. But the moral of this story is you should never give up your voice for anything. So hold on to your voice. Even though she wanted to have a friend, her friend told her, don't give up your voice for anything. Use your voice. So Miss Carrie really wanted to highlight this today so that maybe you see yourself in Melody. Even if you don't look like her, you might be adventurous like her. Um, like Miss Carrie does, even though our skin colors are different, I still like her because I'm curious too about things. So we've got something in common. So this book is available for checkout. You can put it on hold and come pick it up from the library. So I hope you enjoyed this talk and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.